up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, live. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Fights are locked. The expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Beautiful strike. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You can't break your will. Just a slip there. Lands a big right hand early. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick. 
Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Try to establish that jab. Keep your hands up. Two minutes now to go in round one. Okay. Use your footwork. Real nice body kick lands. He's open for the overhead. Hey. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Nice counter left hook. Spinning back fist. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now to go in round one. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Wow. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight punch lands. Five minutes in the books. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. the leg kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice strike. Head kick. 
Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. The one-two punch is true. Punch is blocked. Beautifully timed with the Superman punch. I want that takedown now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Go for the takedown. Checks that leg kick. Nice kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. And he landed the right hand there. Moving to his left now. Right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, 
is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, live. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners to my fight. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Oh! Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Circling to his right. Glanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Just over three minutes to go now. That was a thud leg kick. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. 
Well, missed on that one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Under two minutes to go. Big ball to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Now connects with a right. Good punch land. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Caught that kick there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? in the night. Knee to the body. Some real power shots here. Came of inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Missed with that right hand. Look at how he turned his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh! Oh, straight right! Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Head kick. Work that up nice straight punch. Ooh. Head kick partially blocked. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Let's get him down. Just over three minutes now to go. Misses again with a right punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Relax, relax. 
Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Right hand upstairs. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful kick. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Not there. Nice. Oh, call it tie. Punch over the top. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Big and kick. Slips. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big kick land. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure oh, got an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Big body to land. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. A big head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Punch attempt here, no good. Oh, massive kick to the head. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. What a body kick. Spinning back fist. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good stick. There's no tell on that leg. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Lee. And now he's got that tight clinch. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, big punch win. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Lands with the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. That landed. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. there to block the shot. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That was a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. 20 seconds left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice loop and punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He lands with the left. Big kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
came with inches right I'm there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He goes back to that left kick once again. the separation now. Big body kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Hey. How about that shin? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, just misses with the kick. Stay focused. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. What a punch. to check these low leg kicks. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this new jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Went for the inside leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. There's that front kick, that was nasty. That front kick really does affect the breathing pattern of your opponent. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Nice punch there. Just out of range with that right hand. with the jab. Under a minute to go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Hook to the head there by Lee. Trying to double up on that jab. is blocked, no damage there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, Exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliano is calling a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.